This is a chicken. And today, we're going to cut up our chicken into eight parts. We will have our breasts, our legs, our thighs, and our wings. First, we're going to start off with our wing section. Taking a sharp knife, we're gonna cut through that joint membrane down to where the joint actually meets. We're gonna pop it open and expose the joint and using our knife, cut straight down to the board to cut the wing section clearly off. We're gonna repeat the same process on the opposite side by moving the joint to see the membrane, exposing the joint, popping it out, and cutting straight through the cartilage points. Now, with our chicken breast side up, we're going to face it so that the legs are facing us and the neck is facing away. Now, we're going to open this up so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. We're going to slowly cut through the skin, leaving enough skin on our chicken breast sections so that we don't lose flavor later. And repeat this on the left and right side of the thigh and leg sections. And what I like to do is call this the gator mouth. I know that's weird, but it helps me remember. I wanna make sure that that is as open as possible so I can see what I'm doing later. I trim off a little bit of skin that I know is unnecessary, clean it up a bit, and then we have this little tail piece. We're gonna remove that, because that has no culinary purpose nor flavor. Now, we're gonna take our knife and we're going to run the tip of the knife along the bone at the base of the thigh and leg section. Using slow movements, we're going to slowly remove the meat from the bone and expose the thigh joint right there. The other option to do is actually to pop the joint um, by grabbing the leg and thigh section towards you, boop, like that, and that way you can actually see where you're cutting. So we're still gonna use the tip of our knife and do slow strokes, cutting alongside the bone, staying as close to the bone as possible to remove the flesh. We don't wanna lose any of the meat in this process. Now the next, we're going to flip the bird all the way over, and in the middle of the back, we're gonna cut a straight line through the skin. Then we're gonna take our two pointer fingers, we're going to insert them right where these little pudgy pieces are, and those are the chicken oysters. Using our fingers, we're gonna scrape that whole concave section out to make sure that the oyster gets removed with the thigh section um, later. I also score the back skin so I can see just where that thigh ends when I go to cut it. Nice and clean. We flip our chicken back over and grabbing a hold of the oyster section with our fingers, we're gonna take our knife and peel back and cut right around the joint. So as you can see, since I scored it, it comes off nice and clean and we didn't lose any meat in the process. We repeat the same on the opposite side, seeing where our bone is, cutting close to the bone along the cage of the bird, making sure the oyster is still attached, nice slow strokes, and being able to see the entire thigh removed. Next, we're gonna remove our leg and thigh sections from each other, and you can either cut where that little skin section separation is, or you can pull the joint, see where the movement is, flip it over, and cut where those joints meet. And you wanna cut right in between the cartilage. Nice smooth strokes. Make sure we have enough skin on each piece of meat, and I like to wrap my skin around my thigh section. It helps when we bake them later. I'm gonna repeat the same process. And sometimes you have a little excess skin, go ahead and trim that off just a little bit. You don't need that much skin around your thigh section. So you can feel the joint, move the joint, turn it around, and feel the same joint and cut along that line using the back two inches of your knife, clean in between the cartilage. There we go. Nice pretty leg sections and nice pretty thigh sections. We're gonna set those aside. Next, we are going to remove the breasts from the rib cage. This looks like a heart, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna score the skin straight down the middle to make sure there's an equal amount of skin on each section of breast. We cut all the way down through the tip of this air quote heart. We turn it around and we cut through the top of the heart or the neck section. Once we do that, we run our thumb alongside the keel bone. This is our guide that's gonna help us make nice straight cuts to remove the breast section. So using smooth, small cuts, start to remove the meat, scraping your knife alongside the book keel bone as well as the rib cage. 
As you can see, my guide hand is slowly peeling back the meat and exposing the area so I can see what I'm doing as I continue those slow, smooth strokes. This is not something that you have to rush. You wanna make sure you take your time so that you're not leaving any money or meat on the bone. Once I've separated all of the meat from the rib cage, I want to grab that remaining uh, wing section and make sure that I have a hold of the joint. Once I do that, I return to the inside of that chicken, see where those two joints meet, and I cut straight through the cartilage. Nice and clean. And I set these aside. I repeat the same process on the opposite side, starting with removing the meat from the keel bone. Nice smooth strokes, small smooth strokes, going slowly, scraping the rib cage and removing the meat away from the keel bone. Making sure my guide hand is slowly peeling back the meat so I can see what I'm doing and do a nice steady pace. Once again, there's no need to rush this. Take your time so you can get all the meat off of the bone. Once I get to the joint, I do the same thing again. I grab a hold of our wing section, make sure I can identify the joint that it's still attached to and cut right through the cartilage. This leaves our bone and we have plenty of skin covering up our chicken breast. You also notice that chicken tender is still attached. Now we take these bones, these can be used for chicken stock or bone broth, whatever you choose. And this is how you cut up a chicken. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.